All right, I just got back uh, from doing a little bit of pharmaceutical shopping. Uh, unfortunately, I do have to have medication. And so I went in there, they had the, the plexiglass installed by the pharmacy, which was kind of a good idea um, as well by the cashier. I did get some um, hair dye for my gal and uh, that's gonna be fun doing that. But when I went inside, there was this guy, older guy, maybe in his late 60s, early 60s, and he was coughing, hacking away. Um, and it wasn't good. And I was like, you know, it's hard to keep away from six feet when you're in these little paths for shopping like I went to this little store to see if there's some latex gloves and uh, they didn't have any so um, they had it in small and I was like okay we still got quite a few I just put some of that gel stuff on there now it's time to fill up on some water I got a few jugs I can put some water in here it's like 30 cents and I've been testing the water, right? We have this thing called the zero filter, or I believe it's zero. And uh, we've been using the tap water so we don't have to make these rendezvous to the water because that was the one thing that we needed to keep doing is refilling on the water. And um, so far so good on that, but I don't know how long those filters last. So I might have to order a few filters. Um, but I'm able to test the water with the tester and it seems fairly accurate and I'm able to uh, see how much the tap water is and how much this water. The water that we get is fairly clean. We don't get much bottled water so I really haven't been testing that but it's on the same level as the water we get at these dispensaries for like 30 cents a gallon or, or I don't know a couple gallons. So I think it's a gallon and then a dollar fifty for a couple of the, with the big jugs glacier water I believe I don't mean to plug or advertise but uh, that's what we've been doing so now I'm heading back to base I've uh, gotten the prescription thing out I, I should probably do some shopping but uh, you know I, I think we're good for the time being so it might be another couple more days before we go out again hopefully I gotta get back we did order some food so you know, I figure seven days a pop, then, you know, monitor ourselves and see if we have any symptoms of this virus. But that coughing of that individual, that gentleman was, was, was not good. All right, starting up, ready to go. Here we go. Sugar, salmon, I don't know if I can get that, string green beans. Water, crystal geyser, gluten-free bread, laundry, hand sanitizer, wipes, gluten-free beer, that's pass. Um, coffee creamer, E998. Oh, eggs, hair dye, no ammonia, avocado, carrots, broccoli, green onions, paper towels. I take two. All right. So it's weird. It's like I'm at the grocery store. Everybody's wearing a mask, which is good. I got to get some stuff. Got to get the sugar. Got to get the salmon, the string green beans. It keeps going on this list and list. And uh, well, at least everybody here in the grocery store is wearing a mask. So, all right, I'm off. insane with this mask didn't fog though I guess because it's 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 hot um, it seemed to be doing okay and uh, wow I'm just cooling off here I didn't get any toilet paper which was missing or paper towels so we're kind of running low on those but um, the rest I think we were, we're okay with 
so now the aspect of going to the bank, I have to unfortunately make some uh, yeah, deposit a check that's kind of been lingering for a while without me depositing. So I'm about to do that now. Got a message. Oh, great. 30% off a deal. CVS. I thought it was my prescription. Um, people are wearing masks inside. I saw one person not, which I avoided. I like the plague. And uh, so far it started getting a little busy. I did self-checkout. Um, that I'm getting better at that now. And so now I'm about to pull out of here. It's starting to get busy because I think people who are working are probably going shopping too. And it's a Friday, so I don't know if that has any basis with regards to the time schedules now of a lot of people not being, I got the break on, not being uh, working, but who knows? I'm just waiting for these people to to go by. So, um, yeah, I just took a picture of him, snapped the picture, snapped the shot. And this guy's going this way, I'm going the other way. But, uh, yeah, looks like everybody seems to be wearing masks. So, um, I guess that's the policy in the supermarkets. So, so far, so good. I uh, changed the gloves. Once before I got in the club, uh, in the car, I actually, um, with this, it might be running a little low now. Well, this is what I sprayed my gloves with. Actually, when I did touch things too, I'd spray it with that. And then uh, I would wash my hands with it. And then now I disposed of my gloves in the garbage can, placed new ones on before entering the vehicle. Um, and I tried to splash a little bit on my respirator that I touched. On my keys, I, you know, I'm trying to be as safe as I can, but you know, you just can't see this virus, so you don't know if you're getting it or not. But, um, so here we are, California, Panorama City. I got some chicken. Hopefully it won't go bad, it's already cooked. Um, somebody will be surprised with that. I've been log, logging for one. Sorry, there goes my, um, maybe I should be doing it with this here. But uh, yeah, so here we are. I haven't driven in over a month. I still got uh, three quarters of a tank. So this car gets like great mileage, which is good. But I do have to probably wash it. I'll probably wash it in a, uh, where I don't have to touch anything or, you know, man, not manual wash it, but uh, automatic wash. And uh, so far, so good. Well, it's about 90 degrees. People outside, though, they aren't wearing masks, which I found kind of strange. So it is hot out here. I hope this hot weather doesn't continue the virus. Hopefully it somehow dissipates it. We'll see. Okay. That's it.